Hey there, Atila here, and today we're going to talk about typing form events on React app. So let's get started by running yarn create React app. with the template TypeScript. Okay, so now that it finished installing, we can open our project and I'll get the server running. So we can actually see that we have classic create React app. So now we open our app TSX and we can start deleting stuff that we are not going to use. I deleted the React import because now we are using the new React runtime. And now we don't need this anymore. So we can start creating our form for us to use. And I'm going to set a wrap class for now. And we're going to have our first field set. It's going to have a label for the name. And of course, an input for the name. And then we can just duplicate this and here it's going to be password and here password again and the type is password as well we also need a button which is going to be submit and this is going to be the classic login form so now it looks pretty ugly before let's go to our index CSS and I'm going to add to our body tag display grid and I'm going to say that every item is going to be centered and I'm also going to be passing a background color that's going to be a very dark gray and yeah I forgot that to say that it's going to be this big and there's a typo here so back to our app, t, app CSS, we're going to now start adding the classes to our form. So first of all, I'm going to set some defaults because I don't like repeating myself, writing these values that I need to look all the time. And actually I'm cheating over there, I'm copying the sets, the values that I already set because I'm terrible remembering them. So now in our app, we can set the padding to be one RAM, two RAMs, and we can set the background color to be white. So it's already slightly better. The field area, since we use the field set, we need to set the border to be none because we don't want it. And I forgot to add the class in the app. So here we have two field sets. We're going to set it to be the field area. Great. So back to our CSS. We set the border none and I want a margin bottom of 1.5 rems. And because I forgot the, the class on the labels, let's just use this. It's, not, it's just supposed to be an example anyway. And this is just to, the width is just to make it a little bit more aligned. And now the inputs. We can set the margin left to be one rem. No border. No outline. And we want border bottom to be dotted to pixels with our nice purple. And just to be more accessibility friendly. We are going to set the border style to be solid when focused. 
Now the button. This is something we could have done also on the input, set appearance none, so it strips out the default appearance for the, from the browser. So we can basically streamline what we're going to be styling across all the browsers. They can behave the same. So if we forget to reset a class, it's going to be as we expect. And make the font a little bit bigger on the submit button and the weight of the font to be bold we're setting it to be the whole length of the the wrapper so it's looking pretty okay we don't have any styles for it but we don't need them for the hover effect and the interaction and whatnot and let's go back to our app so now in our app everything looks okay we can fill it in it's not a controlled component and if we set login because we don't have any callback here anything it's going to be sending the form with a the HTML form event so we want to override that so let's start creating our send form function so our send form function is going to take an event and this event, we're going to prevent it. And then we're going to get the name and the password from that event. Target. If it was a real scenario, this function would be an asynchronous function. And here we would have a fetch. This fetch would take our route and a few a few options so first one would be the headers we would need to set the content type to be of application JSON then the method would be post and we need to stringify the JSON that we're going to send which in this case would be the name dot value and password password value and that would then send it our login information and here on our form we just set us on submit event and this is going to take the event and call send form passing the event down and as you can see, uh, it's complaining that our event is not typed properly. But if we look here, uh, VS Code has already a suggestion for us. So we are, this is actually receiving the form event from React, which is by with a HTML form event as a param. So now we can import this from the React package. And here, then we can type this event. So then our function is strong typed. So it's going to be a form event with from a form element. And here it caught my typo, prevent default. And as you can see, it's still not enough. And that's the catch because um, name and password are not default attributes from the event target. So what we need to do here is uh, type assert that we're going to take the type of what's supposed to be event target and we are also going to extend it to be what we need it to be as well. So um, basically what we're doing here is saying, okay, TypeScript, we have we're getting this event target and it is the type of event dot target but it also it has this object it also is this object that has a name and a password key and the name and password key each have the value key which is a string so that's what we're using and that's why typescript is now okay with that you know that we fixed it we can just refresh it everything is working and since this fetch is not going anywhere, I'm going to comment it out. And here we can just console log name.value 
and home and log password.value as well. Now that I have this working, once we type here my name and my password, my login, we can see it logged like this and TypeScript is completely happy. And that's it. Oh, I hope this have helped and see you on the next one. Cheers.